Welcome back, Charleston, as the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show continues here on the Big Talker, 1250 WTMA and WTMA.com. I always like to take a moment and just say that I appreciate those of you that listen to this program. I, I try to make it educational. I try to make it entertaining. We've been doing this for 10 years here on this program. And uh, I know that a lot of you uh, that reach out uh, do say that you appreciate the content. Hey, we're open to suggestions too, by the way. So if there's something that we don't talk about very often that you'd like to hear more of, or you've got a, a good question that you'd like to ask and have us answer it on air, then feel free to reach out to us. You can call or text 843-800-0065, 800-0065, or listingsincharleston.com. That's listingsincharleston.com, or you can send me an email, brian at brianbadyteam.com. But thank you for listening, and you know it's always such a pleasure to be on this program because I get to... Uh, I just get to tell it like it is, which is kind of how I prefer to operate. You know, I'm not a beat around the bush kind of guy. I just like being honest and direct and blunt. And I know a lot of my clients appreciate the same approach because they're the same way. So if that's you and you're looking for a quality, experienced real estate agent, then uh, we'd love to earn your business. 843-800-0065. So switching gears, changing topics here. I think I've laid into... um the 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 lazy agent enough. Um, I want to talk a little bit about negotiations because you know here here we are and let's just let's just kind of realize where we are at this stage in the game right now. There has been appreciation in our market for a decade. Prices have gone up. Now, obviously, there was a nice little moment in time there where interest rates were ridiculously low. I mean, two something percent. Can you even imagine a few years ago, someone saying, well, you know, 2.5% as an interest rate on a, on a home purchase. I didn't see it coming, but I sure took advantage of it. I hope you guys did too. But um, we're now at this point where affordability is so bad for so many people that, uh, you know, if you're a single mom, let's say you're a teacher and you've got three kids and you need to rent and you teach in Mount Pleasant, I honestly don't know how you afford to live there. It's, it's very pricey. You have a lot of people in these situations where um, they're just not making enough money to afford to buy where they want to buy where they want to live. So they're having to go further and further away. It is what it is. We've got a real shortage of affordable housing. It's a problem. Um, something that I'd like to see more of. But we're, we're experiencing buyers that are starting to read the room a little bit. They're starting to realize that, hey, maybe this market isn't all it's cracked up to be. And I'm going to take advantage of that. Now, this is on a case-by-case basis, but we have this very clear as to how, how this market is right now. This is, this is what we're experiencing. Our listings are selling either for over asking price or asking price. And our buyers are purchasing homes more often than not for below asking price. Which just tells you that both instances can and are occurring in our market right now because it's so situation specific. You know, not every seller out there has is is kind of in this boat this very large boat, by the way, of folks that are like, yeah, we'd like to move, but we don't need to move. I'd like to buy something if the perfect home hit the market, but um, there's just nothing really out there. So we're just going to wait. Or of course, we get the you know interest rates are too high uh, comment. And you know, there's so many agents out there, by the way, that try to win that argument. Oh, well, you know, they'll, they'll provide some sort of counter to that. Buyer says, oh, we don't want to buy right now. Interest rates are too high. Well, yeah, but, and then they just totally negate that, that buyer's opinion. I mean, I think an agent should be determining 
whether they just financially can't afford to buy in this environment or if that's the choice that they're deciding to make. I mean, if you think about all these homes and how much they've appreciated in our area over the past several years, a vast, a large portion of people, if they had to buy their own home at its current market value and at current interest rates, they couldn't afford it. I don't think I could for my home. Um, and so you've got buyers now that are, they, they want to negotiate. They're tired of just giving the seller everything that the seller wants. You know, they're tired of playing the game. I get it. It's, t- it's really tough to pick up investment property right now, too, because everybody's paying what the seller wants. Just not enough meat on the bone for your money to make money through real estate investing in most instances. Don't get me wrong. They're still out there. I just closed on a flip. It, I did very well. They're out there. But these buyers are giving the seller kind of what they want um, on face value. Like as in other, in other words, when the offer is initially made, the buyer is getting pretty darn close, if not all the way to the seller's asking price. And then they're spending the rest of the time under contract just trying to beat up that seller with inspection-related items, with furniture, with, with anything they can get their hands on. And I get it. And good for those that try. But here's what you need to know. Being nice is one thing. I, I like, you know, be friendly, but don't be their friend. We need to keep things at arm's length. Because if you, out of the generous, generosity of, of your own heart, give the buyer something. Let's say you're selling your house and you're like, you know what? Um, I'm going to just give them the fridge and I'm going to give them that couch and you know a bunch of other things. And, and you're thinking in the back of your mind that that buyer will reciprocate. They're probably not going to. What I mean by that is don't front load all of these things that you give the buyer thinking that they're going to take that into consideration when it's time to renegotiate for repairs or termite or moisture related issues, um, or especially an appraisal related issue. Those things are gone. And when these new issues are found by the buyer, you know, like after the home inspection report, they're going to go for the throat. You just need to be prepared for that. Um, if you give them an inch, they're going to take a mile. And, there, you know, we talked last show. If, if you have not heard that show, by the way, uh, I think it's really important if you're thinking about selling a house to go back and listen to, to last week's show because I talked about all the different ways you can save money in a real estate transaction because people, generally speaking, look at saving money in two basic ways, cutting the commission and just the negotiation in general between the buyer and seller. There are so many other ways to save money in a real estate transaction that I, I do highly encourage you to go to our website uh, or go to YouTube, just search for the Brian Beatty team and you'll find it. We talk about all these different ways of saving money throughout the course of a real estate transaction. It begins with you allowing us to help you save money in the preparation of your own home. Don't just go out and find random contractors you've never worked with to do work that you're not entirely sure you should or shouldn't be doing, let us help you with that process. Let us determine, or let's, let's consult is really the right word. Let's walk through the house. Let's talk about what we can do, what we should do, what we should not do, and how much money we should be spending and how much that ultimately is going to get you back when it comes time for you to sell the house. We also gave away a really nice cost versus value report that looked at like, close to 30 different renovation projects that are typically done through throughout the house, how much they typically cost, and then how much that cost is recouped when you sell the property. If you'd like access to that, just text the word report to 843-800-0065. Text the word report to 843-800-0065. All right, stick around for the last few minutes of the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show. We're going to talk about some pros and cons of buying a house right now. This is uh, Stick Around for the Brian Beatty Real Estate Show on the Big Talker 1250 WTMA. Uh, We'll be right back. 
Find Brian Beatty online at listingsincharleston.com. The Brian Beatty Real Estate Show continues next on The Big Talker, 1250 WTMA.